it's here it's here it's here it's here oh my goodness y'all i am so excited because croctober is here it is here we are starting croctober this coming monday which is october 2nd um you can totally download your totally free grocery list menu plan challenge everything you're going to need click the link above it's going to get everything you need to do oh my goodness y'all it is going to be fun okay so we just finished our brand new croctober cookbook um you can snag it for free at the link above if you haven't signed up already it's amazing i have to say look at these photos y'all these we just made these actually last week look at those who wants to eat those besides me oh my gosh so yummy so if you can hit the share this button if you know someone who would like to join us for croctober if you hit the share button i am going to give away a ninja slow cooker how many of y'all have been dreaming of a ninja slow cooker we are going to give one away so we can only find you if you hit the share button so share this so that other folks know that they can join us for croctober too as you're hopping on also can y'all tell me say good morning tell me your number Number one favorite slow cooker meal tell me what is the one meal that you make in the crock pot better than anybody else does and you love and then we're gonna clean out my fridge because I'm gonna tell you kind of how we're gonna go through the grocery list good morning Shannon so thank you for Shannon sharing Shannon tell me also where you're from oh Deborah thank you for sharing yes I will give a ninja away I'm so excited hi Annette thank you for sharing okay guys so we have this it's totally free entire cookbook for the month but look at this it has your grocery list and your menu plan included so you're going to have dinner i'm going to have dinner we're all going to have dinner in october our crock pots are going to be filled these are recipes that are family tested and approved i will tell you my family does get a little tired of the crock pot sometimes but it's going to be so yummy oh tara you make white chicken chili that sounds fabulous so what i'm going to do today is i'm going to actually go through the grocery list which is right there and y'all can grab that i'm going to go through this um, and i'm going to go ahead and write which things i have and which things i don't and i'm going to clean my fridge out as we go so good morning edward so glad to see you guys thank you so much okay y'all so first on the grocery list we're gonna go through this mess of a fridge and y'all this is a bad fridge i'm a little in fact i thought about pre-cleaning it before i let y'all see this and then i was like oh I'm just gonna let them see the awfulness because honestly, I have a sick kiddo home today. My 17 year old, this is chicken that is out to grill actually this weekend. It's, we're gonna grill it tonight, so I'm gonna put it somewhere. So my 17 year old has a terrible um, virus, some type of virus. He's had 102 fever this morning. And so um, I am super late coming on live and super late getting everything done today. Um, but so I didn't have time to pre-clean out the fridge so we also have family coming in town in about three hours and I have a hair appointment today so y'all it's gonna be a wild day how many of y'all have had crazy days somebody loves the Hawaiian chicken barbecue sandwiches that sounds fabulous so I'm just gonna go through and clean out my fridge and I'm gonna go through my list because I have a grocery list and a menu plan I'm gonna see what things I need that way I don't double up and buy things so some of the things we're gonna need, you can get your totally free grocery list and the menu plan and everything over at the link above. We will also have it available to probably buy as a cookbook, hopefully by next week, um, if you'd like a real copy of it. The things I need are onions, garlic, broccoli was on the list because I made this recipe last week, so I'm actually, I've got enough broccoli. How long do you guys think broccoli goes, how long do you think on broccoli? How long does this typically last? I think I'm fine, I just bought it last week. I feel like it's gonna be fine to use on Tuesday. Um, so I'm going to check that off my list so that I know that I have it. Okay, here's my list. I'm checking it off, y'all. I want you to check off your list and make your grocery list and menu plans this weekend. So I'm going to check off that I have a pound of broccoli. I think I also have celery, but I'm afraid the celery is very old and dated. Let's see. So, oh yeah, September 8th. We're going to throw this one away. So that's not going to get used. Okay, um, these are some berries that we need to eat up. Anybody else have bowls of fresh fruit. Um, keep it till it stinks, Melissa. Do you keep it till it stinks? Do you think if I bought it September 9th, it's okay to use? Hang on, I gotta check the recipe. What's it for? Let me look. I haven't even looked through. It is for, it's for buffalo chicken slider, so I feel like it needs to be pretty fresh. Oh, and for minestrone soup. Now, the celery might be okay in the soup. What do y'all think? Could I use the celery in the soup? Hang on. No, maybe the celery is just for, if the celery is only for the lettuce wraps, I'll buy some new celery. Celery is not that expensive. Okay, so how many, who else has a fridge that is just in dire need of cleaning? Yeah, that's what, I'm going to get it cleaned out so that I know what's on the list. This turkey has been in there forever, so we are ditching that. Um, 
these are, how many of y'all have heard of these? These are called, they're lime pickles. My sister-in-law makes them. Has anybody ever made lime pickles? Yeah, I'm throwing it out, Ann. Don't worry. I'm throwing it out. This is a gross job. But this way I'm going to know what we have and what we don't have because my, this is some chicken that I've been eating on my salads all week, but, um, so I'm going to keep that for lunch today. Celery looked fine. It felt pretty, it felt pretty soft. Now you've got me wondering. I can't. I've already put it in the trash can. It's pretty soft. I'm getting rid of the celery. Okay. Um, we have jelly. My poor kiddo who's sick at home. He had more applesauce today. Pitiful. That's the sell by date. That's the, it's, yeah. Annette, get this project done this weekend. It's a big one project. These are for buffalo lettuce wraps. These, I made several of the recipes this weekend to make sure they were delicious. I may save those. Y'all don't forget if you hit that share button we will give away a ninja crock pot to one person so please hit the share button and let them know so they can join us for crocktober don't throw the, i'm not going to throw the pickles away they were from august 12th and so those are brand new so they're good um guys i would love for y'all to join us and to give me a harder like tell me will you join me for crocktober will you join me you can get your totally free cookbook and everything below and that we'll have it. I have like an ounce, like maybe a tablespoon of Cool Whip. I'm probably going to just eat that for lunch today with my chicken. When in doubt, toss it out. Joy, I like that. I like that for sure. Um, the apples are fresh. We just got those. The carrots are good. Thank you, Annette, for sharing three times. Thank you, Darlene. Who's, so who's joining us? Who's going to join me for Crocktober? Guys, the awesome thing about this is it's totally free to join December 13th. And I don't think it's been opened. Awesome. So that's okay. Um, I don't even know who bought this apple juice. How many else? <laughs> the sell by date on the apple juice? May 4th. Don't worry, I'm not getting rid of the pickles. Pickles are so good. They're fine. Oh, Ashley, you're excited for Crocktober? I am excited for Crocktober too. I um, am ready to kind of get into the fall recipes. So, guys, you want to hear what's on the list? As I'm cleaning, I'll tell you all what's on the list. This pineapple juice has been here forever. Yeah, we're throwing that out. Oh, I'm going to have so much space in my fridge. That's going. Um, who else needs to do this with me? Anybody else? So next week on the list for the recipes next week are honey chicken, which I um, think looks is so yummy. We will love that one. Another one is, this is parsley because I was taking photographs, so I had that. Oh, Gina, you're excited for a Crocktober too? Yes, Ashley, Crockpots are a mom's best friend for sure. Y'all hit that share button if you know someone who can be saved during Croctober as well. Um, and guys, then the challenge today is, of course, to clean out your fridge and freezer so that we're ready for Croctober. Char Charlotte, are you going to join us for Croctober? Oh, Brenda, you're joining us too. I'm so excited because you know what the truth is, y'all? I have to tell y'all, um, I do not, I don't love to cook. I don't. I like cleaning. I actually enjoy cleaning out my fridge. Apparently my son made root beer floats the other day, so he left that in the fridge. Um, I like cleaning out the fridge. I like cleaning the house. The things I don't love to do, I hate cooking and I hate laundry. I hate cooking and I hate laundry. So if I can figure out a way to make that easy, then you know I am all in. And so Croctober is going to make it so simple. I'm going to wipe these down really fast. I am not doing a full clean out where I take everything out. Like I said, so I have a son home with 102 fever, which is pitiful. Bless his heart. He's, I told, he went to the basement. We, went to, we sat at the doctor's office this morning to see if he had strep. He does not have strep, but he's homesick. So um, literally, I was at the doctor with a kid with 102 fever um, this morning, and then I have family coming in town at 3 o'clock today, and my house isn't cleaned, and my fridge looks like this. So that's why I'm cleaning up super fast. Cindy, if it's not showing up in your – if you are an email subscriber – you should have gotten the email this morning with the information for Croctober. So click, um, if you did not get an email, send us an um, email at contact. Oh, let's see if I can turn that off. Contact at passionatepennypincher.com. Contact at passionatepennypincher.com and we will get it right out to you. Check your spam folder, guys. If you are signed up for emails for me, you know but emails are ridiculous and they get sent to spam pretty often because we're a business. So definitely check your spam folders to get that done. I have to tell y'all, I am using, I was going to show y'all just so you know. I am using some of my Mrs. Myers Bluebell this morning cleaning, super 
I'm so excited. Phyllis, you're in for Croctober. Okay, guys, so I'm going to start. Is there anything special to do for Croctober? All you have to do is totally free. Click the link below to sign up. You will get an email from me, and it will have all of the information in there. So definitely do that. Um, once you sign up, it probably will take, as soon as you sign up, you should immediately get the email from me. It's totally free, so it's super, super simple. Then um, we made cheese dip the other night and obviously no one ate it. We're going to put that away. Um, so once you've signed up, you'll get everything you need. There's a grocery list. That's the part that's awesome is it includes the grocery list. So um, for next week, I'm going to use Kroger Click List and I'm going to get all my groceries that way. And so I've gone through and I'm just checking off what things I already have. Oh, Susan, it's your first time. How many of you guys, yeah, tell me, give me a heart if you did Croctober last year with me and give me a like if you have never heard of Croctober and just think I'm crazy and I'm sitting here cleaning out my fridge. I promise there is a method to my madness. This was one we made too. I loved this one. This was one of the recipes. I was taking new photos of a lot of these recipes last weekend. And so, um, yeah, so that's what I'm, I've got to get rid, I've got to clean my fridge out of a lot of stuff that I had from last weekend. Y'all, I have to confess, this is a tea tiny little can of sweetened condensed milk. And the reason I kept it is I occasionally, like once every five years, use it to make Texas Roadhouse cinnamon butter. Um, and I thought because I was making another recipe, I might keep it, but I'm going to throw that out because that's just gross. Anyways, Amy, you loved it last year. Okay, so I'm looking. Let's see. Lots of you guys have never done Croctober before. I think you're going to love it. Jill, so what is Croctober? Such a great question. I should have told you that. Jill, Croctober is basically a, a month where for the month of October, instead of having a plain, boring, normal October, we turn it into Croctober and we are challenge ourselves to cook every day, Monday through Friday, in the crock pot. So uh, my poor little crock pot will get very worn out this week. Um, we did it last year and this hopefully just makes life super easy for you. The recipes and the grocery list and the menu plan are all available when you click that link. Um, if it won't let you click, Tracy, it may, it should let you in just a second. You might have to hop off and hop back on, but you should be able to get it. Check in the comments too. If you go to passionatepennypincher.com slash crocktober, it will work as well. Guys, I promise this will be, um, even if you don't do it every single day, maybe just challenge yourself to do most of the days. They're Monday through Friday, so every morning at uh, around 9 o'clock a.m., I will be on live, and I will make the recipe with you guys in the crock pot. Um, I think you're going to love it. It's totally free. Um, it's just an easy way to get dinner done super fast. Y'all, I have a long way to go. Did anybody else get the free yogurt? I've still got my free yogurt that I got through Ibotta. Um, who does this? Do you see this? Who else has this? This is so bad. Oh, Stephanie, if dinner is out of control, that's kind of why I do it, because dinner totally does get so out of control in our homes, and this way we can just get it done. I mean, we have to have dinner. We have to feed our people. We have to feed them. So we might as well go ahead and get, make it easy and make it fun. One slice, y'all. One slice of bread they leave me. <sighs> Who else has this? I don't understand this. You loved Cracktober Mary last year. I'm so glad you loved it. And let me ask you your opinion, guys. I am actually going to be out of town the last week of October. So I'm trying to decide if we should do three weeks and then extend it into the first week of November. So do three weeks and then take a week off and then do it because I will be in um, at a conference. Or if we should, if I should pre-tape the videos and we just go ahead and finish out the thing, even though I won't, I'll do it ahead of time. So I'd love to hear your all's opinions on that one. Um, Y'all, I have a lot of leftovers because we made, I made like 16 of the recipes to reshoot for the pictures because the photographs are beautiful. And um, this was Carmen's Chicken and Gravy. Carmen is a very sweet PPP reader. Her, this was delicious. The only reason it didn't get eaten up is because we had so much else. Y'all think extend it into November? That's kind of what I'm leaning towards. I don't want to drive y'all crazy, but it might be nice to have a week reprieve and then get ready. Um, kind of have a week break. And y'all can catch up for anybody who doesn't finish up. And then we can go back on strong for about last week. Okay, so now I'm going to go through my grocery list. I have a problem with tortillas. I keep buying them. Y'all, I can't even. I apparently, when we did the freezer cooking challenge, I bought too many. Look at this. I have five things. 
Y'all say extended. I think that if y'all are good with that, I think I probably will do that. Five. You're looking forward. Catherine, you're looking at the recipes. I'm so glad you're excited about it. I have a nice, firm head of cabbage down here. Guess what? We have company coming this weekend. What can I make with the cabbage, guys? Give me some recommendations. I'm thinking coleslaw. Does anybody have a great coleslaw recipe? Five packages. I mean, really, I think this is the problem. This fridge, let me show you all this fridge. Do you see it has all this drawer space? So I put stuff in the drawers, and obviously my people do not know anything is in the drawers. Can I freeze that? I think I wonder if I could freeze them. Let's check the dates on these. I believe they're all fine. September 30th. Eek. Who wants enchiladas tonight? <laughs> okay, egg roll in a bowl. Stephanie, what is that? That sounds amazing. Freeze the tortillas. I think I'm going to, that's a great idea. Can the, will the tortillas do fine frozen? I'm totally going to do that. That's a fabulous idea. Cabbage soup sounds yummy. Y'all, maybe I should just give you my gross my stuff in my thing, and then you guys can just tell me what to make with all of it. This is one. I know that's been around forever. So much cheese. Okay, so I'm going to go through my list right now. I wish I had a clipboard. But I'm going to show you. Remember, you can download this so you have your whole thing. And I have to show y'all. Oh, as I just messed it all up. Here we go. Okay, so this is the front. Do y'all see this? And you can print it totally at Passionate Penny Pincher. Y'all say it's fine to freeze those. Cabbage roll casserole. That sounds good. Amazing. Here's the next page. Here's the grocery list. So I'm going to go through it and see what I found that we already have. So I'm going to check off my list right now. Cabbage rolls, Jan. You say that sounds yummy? I've, I've got to try cabbage rolls. I've never even heard of cabbage rolls. Quesadillas for my company. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Quesadillas. What can I do, what can I do with quesadillas and... Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so here's my list. So I don't have any of the... I've got, a, I've got the broccoli. Um... I don't, I probably have enough carrots, so I'm not going to buy the carrots because I've got those. Um, a half a pint of heavy cream. Look at this, y'all. I have a half a pint of heavy cream, so I'm good on that. Awesome. Yay. A half pint. How much is a half pint? I have about a half a pint, so I'm good to go. Okay, so I've got that, so I'm going to check this off. Remember, I want y'all to do this too. 16 ounces of shredded sharp cheddar cheese. Okay, so 16 ounces. I've got half of one. You know what I might do? We do not typically eat sharp, we don't typically eat cheddar cheese. So we, so we eat, um, I, I know it's for broccoli cheese soup. Because of um, my husband having a heart attack, it's a little healthier to eat mozzarella and white cheeses than to eat dark cheeses. So I may use um, that. So I'm gonna leave that. Four ounces of fresh Parmesan cheese. I thought I did have fresh Parmesan cheese. I'm almost sure I do have that. Did anybody see me pull out from Parmesan cheese? Buffalo chicken quesadillas, that's a good idea. Oh, let's see. I cannot believe I don't see any. Oh, here we go. Four ounces of fresh, oh, I got Parmesan cheese. Okay, so I can check that off so I don't have to buy it. Four ounces of blue feta or goat cheese. I bought that already. I love goat cheese. Oh my gosh, y'all, I love goat cheese. How many of y'all love goat cheese? Um, then we need two cans of evaporated milk. Four low-sodium cartons of chicken broth. So I'm going to kind of go in here, and y'all can kind of walk in the pantry. We'll see what we have in the pantry so that I don't have to buy stuff. And that's my challenge for you this weekend is get your stuff. Don't laugh at my pantry. It's actually not all that bad. Um, I need two, two cans of evaporated milk. I guess I could bring y'all. If y'all want to come on over and see. I know everybody wants to see it. It's no fun to sit on Facebook. Oh, Miranda, if you have not tried goat cheese, it is my favorite favorites. I love it and I eat it on salads. Y'all have never had goat cheese? I think I got a salad at one restaurant that had it and I just kind of fell in love. Okay, so we're looking for evaporated milk. Remember guys, you can get your grocery list and your menu plan and everything you need at the link above so that you can be all fancy, all organized so that for next week you do not have to sit here and stress every morning and not know what's for dinner. I do not see a single, okay, so I have no evaporated milk. I have one, two, three cartons of chicken, low sodium chicken broth. I have enough of that. Um, 12 ounce bottle of buffalo wing sauce. I believe I have that in the fridge. 10 ounce can enchilada sauce. I do not have that. Four ounce can chopped green chilies. Boneless skinless uh, taco seasoning. I do have taco seasoning mix. I have plenty of tacos and flour tortillas, so we can do that. 
I believe I might have some orzo pasta. No, I don't. Okay. Um, whole kernel corn. How many of you guys, if you don't get your grocery list and your menu plan done, guys, then you're not going to know what you need. So you need to know what's on your list and what you already have. I need to check for artichoke hearts. I thought I saw a can of artichoke hearts in here the other day. They are missing. Don't have them. Okay, so I don't have those. This is going to be really boring for y'all to watch, so I'm not going to make you sit here and watch that. You don't like goat cheese. Okay. You have an unstuffed cabbage recipe. That sounds amazing. Okay, so I'm going to go through the last of the things. I have salt. I have pepper. I have honey. I have low-sodium soy sauce. I have ketchup. I have vegetable oil. I have crushed red pepper flakes, cornstarch, butter, flour, thyme, ranch, and blue cheese. So I just checked off my list. Okay, so guys, who of you is going to do this with me? Go through your pantry, fridge, and freezer. Well, first... Click the link above. Click the link. Somebody says, Jill, you say you are disorganized in the kitchen. Jill, you're going to be organized. You're going to be so on top of it. So what I want you to do is click the link above. All you have to do is click it. It's super, super easy. And when you do, you're going to um, get our grocery list. You're going to make a menu plan. You're going to be on top of it. It's going to be amazing. Goat cheese is not the same as Greek cheese. I can't believe so many of y'all have not had goat cheese before. It's like it's like this really soft. It's almost like it has a texture. It looks like blue cheese but it has the texture of like a yummy almost like a cream cheese it's so good crystal i'm so glad you're new here thank you so much for watching okay so crystal today we are doing it is croctober is starting monday so we are doing a grocery list and a menu plan all with recipes all croctober recipes lots and lots of them it's going to be so super fun i think you're going to love it um okay i still need sesame seeds i got those and taco toppings so I am good to go. So my grocery list is ready for the week. Goat milk is great in cooking. Annette, I had not tried that. Awesome. Okay, so guys, today I want you to scoot over. I want you to download your completely free. Can I show you all some of the pictures? Can I just show you guys? Because I was really proud. So these are the recipes we're going to make this week. Um, I'll show you the ones. I'll show you my favorites. Slow cooker honey chicken, we are going to make that on Monday. Okay. Slow cooker broccoli cheese soup. We're going to make that Tuesday. This is all totally free. Um, slow cooker buffalo chicken lettuce wraps. These are fabulous. I promise if your family is not normally a slow cooker people, these are these are recipes that all people. Cindy, it is not the recipes as last year. We have done all new recipes. I've said um, this is not, and these are all pretty frugal recipes, Darlene. You said you're afraid fr recipes are too expensive. These are pretty inexpensive. Slow cooker shredded beef tacos. Slow cooker chicken menestrone soup. This is next week. What's awesome is it also, oh Joy, I'm so glad you shared it with your sisters and I love the idea of challenging. If you have friends or family, it would be so fun to all, let's just all have a big huge Croctober challenge together. We're gonna get dinner done, we're gonna have dinner on the table, you're gonna have dinner, I'm having dinner, it's gonna be delicious. The next week we've got brown sugar pork loin, slow cooker chicken taco chili. Guys, we are gonna make this available as a real um, cookbook that you can print that you can actually purchase if you want to if you want a real part one if not you can just print this Robin I'm so glad you're doing it um, this one I cannot even wait to make I actually my assistant made the new picture for me look how beautiful that one is y'all look how good that is slow cooker open face sirloin sandwiches slow cooker pasta fagioli soup oh I'm so glad you're so excited slow cooker breakfast casserole if you've always wanted to try breakfast casserole this is for you. All you gotta do is click the link above. Don't forget guys to hit that share button because I'm gonna give a, a ninja slow cooker away to one person who shares this video. So I need you to hit the share button because you will love, I'm gonna be using a ninja slow cooker most days. Doesn't it look so good? Y'all, this one is from Sweet Carmen. Carmen, I am so thankful for you. She gave us the recipe for her slow, slow cooker chicken and gravy. My children loved it. You serve it over mashed potatoes, oh my gosh divine so good and these are super um, inexpensive as far as recipes goes we look for ones that are frugal because I'm a frugal girl too thank you so much Monica for sharing and I didn't see the person before that but I'm excited that you're excited slow cooker vegetable tortellini soup y'all does that not look divine I just made that one last week and I absolutely loved it slow cooker barbecue stuffed potatoes y'all see these these are ones that your family they're gonna eat these you're gonna eat these um, Linda, you asked, like, you said my hair looks great. I'm about to go get it colored because my roots are kind of dark. I get it colored. I just get highlights in. I'm pretty blonde by nature, but I get highlights done. Like, but it's been like eight months since I've had my highlights done. And you can see right there, it's, it's bad. Anyway, so I'm going to go see if we can't kind of fix it so it matches at least. Okay, sorry. Sorry. Totally squirt. I got 
thrown off. Slow cooker enchiladas. These are so yummy. Oh my gosh, so yummy. You need to make this recipe. Click the link above. We're going to give all of this to you. Thank you so much for sharing, Mary. I appreciate that. Okay, here's one, and I want to know your opinion on this one, guys. Slow cooker meatloaf. Okay, the slow cooker meatloaf, I have to tell you, I do not normally, I don't like meatloaf, but I want to know how many of you guys have tried meatloaf in the slow cooker. We are going to try it. I'm going to show you how to do it. It's not as hard as you think it is. Um, I don't love meatloaf any way that it comes, so I'm going to be honest and tell you this isn't my favorite recipe, but I'm doing it because my husband loves meatloaf and I love him, so we're actually going to use ground turkey instead of ground beef. Um, okay, a couple more ones. Slow cooker chicken and sausage stew, so good. Slow cooker pesto and ranch chicken. Do y'all see these? These are ones your family will try. I love it. Kristen, thank you so much for sharing. How do you get the cookbook? Karen, you can totally just click the link above and we will send you the free PDF. But if you'd like to purchase the cookbook, we are actually, I'm actually getting my copy hopefully over the weekend. I'm crossing my fingers it'll be here this weekend. And we will send out an email once we have it so that if you want to purchase the real thing, you can totally purchase it as well. So you can choose. Um, if you want it free, we'll totally give it to you for free. I will tell you we have a lot of man hours have gone into this cookbook. Like um, this is a pretty huge freebie. It took us... I hate to even think of how many hours between there have been three of us who've worked on this to get it ready to go and it's been oodles of hours so know that um, I yeah we love I'm so thankful we're able to give it to you for free but if you'd like to purchase the cookbook um, it should be available next week we aren't making any money off the cookbook it's like basically we're giving it to you at the cost of what it's costing us to do it so um, if you're interested you can do that Amy if you click there should be a link to there right underneath the video that says share so I would love for you to share that okay so slow cooker roast y'all who wants a slow cooker roast I am so excited Slow cooker pork uh, cacciatore. That one is so good. I, I'm so excited because a lot of these recipes I don't make all that often. So this is like, these are recipes I've been making here on Passionate Penny Pincher for the last nine years. So um, I'm excited to get them make, to make them again. This one is so good. Slow cooker chicken tortilla soup. So good. Oh, Victoria, you are so welcome. And Sandy, thank you. Guys, I have the best team of girls helping me do this stuff. Like, we get so excited. We, like, sit and think about these ideas, and then we get so excited. This is all we do all day because we get – it's fun. Um, okay, so then at the back, here's where it gets even better in case it wasn't awesome enough. Um, we have recipes for homemade cream of chicken soup, homemade taco seasoning packet if you don't want to buy that, um, homemade dry ranch seasoning packet, homemade Italian dressing packet, and this year I finally got smart and we also included the recipes for my best ever chocolate chip cookies and homemade bread. I will tell you those items and the side dishes are not in the grocery list so if you want to have side dishes to make um, you're gonna need to make sure to buy those as well at the store. I typically buy an, a bunch of salad I make sure I have flour and yeast and that way I make for all the soups I'll make homemade bread so that's included in the back of the book um, just so that it makes it super easy. So anyways I am excited. Seneca, you said, which is my favorite? I really, I fought my husband for the leftovers on the chicken enchiladas. I really like the chicken enchiladas. And I was super excited because I made them this time using low-carb tortillas. They were like the healthy light, low-carb tortillas, and they were fabulous. So um, that's probably, I don't know, I like the chicken tortilla soup too. Oh, and I have to show you, we even did it like a real, like the real cookbook. And so there's the forward and everything. You can get it, yeah. So fun! I'm so excited. Um, just Kathy, click the link. It's gonna give you this, um, the chocolate chip recipe. They are the best. They are the best chocolate chip cookies you will ever make. You should not make them very often because they are not great for you. Um, so yeah, don't make them too often because they're not super yummy for you. Anyways, um, this also has all of our tips on um, how to use your crock pot. So if you don't know how to use your crock pot, if you're curious about how to make it work, um, this is gonna tell you like um, what size slow cooker to use, what kind of crock pot I like, all those kinds of things to make it really, really, really simple. So um, thank y'all. So I hope that helps, guys. I am excited. I think it's gonna be so much fun to do Crocktober. Um, I'm gonna finish cleaning up my fridge. I'll answer any questions real quick as y'all have those. What time does this start? So click the link, darling, you can print it right now. Um, oh, somebody said that you can put, um, make peanut clusters in the crock pot. I have done that. It's delicious. Um, oh, Teresa, you should be cleaning. Okay, well, Teresa, you can run around and clean while you take your phone maybe with you, and that way you can clean too. Um, as far as, um, 
Try your cookies with mini Hershey Kisses. Oh, Patty, I bet those would be divine. Okay, um, as far as how this is gonna work, so starting Monday, um, you go ahead right now, go to the link above, print your list so that you have it. Um, we're gonna do five days of recipes, so I'm not doing them on the weekend, so my family might run away if I had Crock-Pot meals seven days a week, so we're doing five, because I like them and I don't want them to go away. So you're gonna go on Monday through Friday, we're gonna come over, um, print the, you're gonna print the recipes Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. Eastern time, I will be right here on Facebook Live, unless I have a thing like today with my son where I had to take care of him. So as best I can, my goal is gonna be 9 a.m. Facebook Live. Um, I will be here, I will make the recipes with you in the crock pot, so you'll, my prayer is that I will be on this side of the screen, you'll be on that side of the screen, we'll all get our dinner done together, and for one month, every day, we're gonna have dinner done, and it's gonna be easy, because um, I know that's um, nice to have it done. Rochelle, I am about to go get my hair cut, and this is the one day I actually like it. I can't even believe that. Um, Carol, I will be cooking at 9 a.m., but listen, you can do it ahead of time, Carol, and you can also re watch the replay if you need to, um, and it'll be 9 a.m. Eastern time, so maybe if you're like out west, maybe you might catch me live um, before, but um, definitely you can watch the replay and you can totally do this. Are cook times for the Ninja cook longer for crock pot? No, the cook times are for a traditional crock pot meal. So um, it is, what time is it here? It's 11.22 here, we're Eastern time. Um, the, cook, the recipes are all made for the crock pot, so they're all um, gonna take, I would say, a, about eight hours in the crock pot on low or six, four hours on high. I will tell you that I think the Ninja and most crock pots now cook very fast. So if you are someone who works out of your home, if you will work away from the house, um, I might definitely look for an older crock pot. You don't want to use one of the new fancy ones because they're really bad about cooking so darn hot. Um, and then make sure you always set everything to low because stuff does cook quickly in these crock pots. So definitely watch for that. Um, thank y'all so much for watching. Thank you for being a part of this. I am excited. I think it's going to be fabulous. Um, what for Ninja? Ninja, uh, Jill, the Ninja just cooks really fast. So um, I feel like it, I love it, but I feel like it gets my food done a little quicker than I would like it to. So I'm really going to try while we're doing the recipes. I'll kind of give you, I think it's great for soups and stews because that can sit all day and it's totally fine. But the stuff that is like, um, the stuff that's like, like pork chops or chicken, I think it's really easy to overdo them in that. Now certain recipes, if they're real saucy, should be fine in the Ninja, but if you're making something that's a little bit, um, that sits up a little thicker, like the breakfast casserole, I will not use my Ninja for the breakfast casserole because it cooks too fast. So hopefully that helps. Teresa, I am so glad that you enjoy it and thank you for sharing with your friends. Um, six hours for an average eight hour. I would say, um, as far as six hours where I'm not quite sure what the question was as far as pulled pork for pulled pork you probably could let it go all day I just don't want it to burn anything like I don't want you to go too long so I'm kind of cautious about that the other thing I forgot to tell you I can't believe I forgot this when you sign up you're gonna get these 20 recipes you're also gonna get last year's 20 recipes so when you print the list it is a ton of recipes and that's why if you don't want to print it if you want to wait by over the weekend, hopefully, we will have a link where you can purchase this on Amazon and you can just buy the whole cookbook bound and mail to you. If you would prefer to do that, it's gonna be beautiful. You're gonna love it. If you can wait, um, and if you don't, you could maybe just print the first week because it's gonna be, it's a lot to print. But at the front of it will be volume two, the back of it will be volume one, so you're gonna get all, um, you'll get all of it together. So somebody says 37 pages printed. Yeah, it's pretty long um, and the cookbook's even bigger. So the cookbook has a few more things but not much in it. So um, I really encourage y'all um, the cookbooks, Lori. So these are free. The printed ones that you print at home are totally free. I believe the cookbooks, I think we're doing them through Create Space on Amazon. This is a whole new thing for me. We just wanted to give it um, an option for you to purchase if you wanted one. So we are not making any money on it. Literally, they're being printed by Amazon. I don't even, I haven't seen one yet. So I'm hopefully gonna see mine this weekend. I think the price on those is $15.95 and that's without us making anything. So that's just the cost that it takes to do it. Um, so it's $15.95. Some of you might think that's ridiculously expensive. It is 80 recipes, you know, 40 recipes, including grocery lists and menu plans. Um, this is, Vicki, these are all new recipes. So we had um, volume one and volume two are included. So um, all of that, like I said, you can get it totally for free. You can print it out, but if you'd like 
to have that. Um, you can definitely, if you'd like to have it bound for you and not spend as much printing, it, this is the way to go. And honestly, I had it printed last year at Staples and it cost me about $12. So printing, I just didn't realize, printing stuff, especially color copies, is expensive. And um, I looked every way, I, guys, the only option that I have to make it cheap, which is probably what I'll do for next year if I'm super on top of it, is to order some from China and have them make them. But as far as getting them made here, the only way that I know to do it is to do that. Um, nope, are they all freezer meals? Mary, none of these are freezer meals, although you could a lot of them you could make as freezer meals if you'd like. So um, some of the things like the soups you could definitely do. Gosh, as I'm looking through, you could do the honey chicken as a freezer meal if you wanted to. I will be making them live. I will not be making them as freezer meals. But the honey chicken would work. The buffalo chicken would work. The shredded beef tacos, chicken minestrone, all of those would be fine freezer meals. The chicken minestrone would be a lot of broth, so I'm not sure how well um, you'd want really heavy-duty freezer bags for those. So. Anyways, I am so excited, guys. I can't even wait. It's going to be a super fun month. I think we're going to save a ton of money. I think it's going to be fun to see how we do. I'm so excited that you're joining me, and I just appreciate y'all doing that. You'll wait and buy. Oh, Victoria, and this is what I was thinking. If you're debating purchasing one, what I would do is print maybe enough for just the first couple days, and hopefully we'll have them ready for y'all by early next week. So, um, like I said, we aren't making money off these, it's really just the cost to get them to you. So um, with shipping and everything, it was more expensive than I knew. So we've definitely learned a lot. Um, I have no intentions of ever being a book writer. Um, but I do think it's going to be beautiful. Um, it's going to be, it's pretty beautiful. I have to say, when I saw the it yesterday, I was like, I my my assistant who made the book, Cheryl, who write, um, she's at um, Bear by Designs, B-E-Y-E-R by Designs. If you need a great designer, let me know because she does amazing. Um, but she did an awesome job and it's gorgeous. And so Kiana, you said you're late. Um, so it's totally free for the PDF version. So if you want to print it, totally free over at the link above. I'd love for you to sign up. But if you would like the printed, if you would like a real copy, um, if you'd like the real copy that you can sit down and use yourself, um, it's going to be, it will be available next week, hopefully on Amazon for $15.95. So, um, just because that was the only way we could do it. Cindy, you're so sweet. It is so much fun for me too. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, y'all, I have to finish up my freezer. I have to get through the rest of my house. I have to get to my hair appointment and I have to get my house vacuumed before we have company this afternoon. It's going to be a crazy day. So I'm praying a wonderful weekend for you, y'all. Um, oh, I get all that get excited. The other thing that it has that I think y'all are going to love, that I really love, is it has, um, if you look right here, do y'all see this? Do y'all see right there? It has daily prayers, so daily graces. So each day there's a daily grace. Um, yeah, so like one is my favorite one. Well, here's one that says, Thank you, Heavenly Father, for all we eat and all we wear for daily bread and nightly care. Um, this one is, Oh Lord, we thank thee for this food, for every blessing, every good. Be present at our table, Lord. Be here and everywhere adored. Y'all, I'm kind of silly, but I'm an old-fashioned girl, and I love traditional dinner prayers. Um, let's see. Thank you for the food we eat and for every need we, you meet. Keep our loved ones in your care and all our blessings let us share. So I just am an old-fashioned girl, and I like dinner prayers, and I like traditional dinner prayers because I'm kind of weird that way, so we included those in the book as well, so you can, and they're in the cookbook, they're in all versions, so I hope that you will use them with your family, um, and they're not fancy, like, I mean, we, and I will be honest, as honest as a heart attack, what we do most nights when we say dinner is God is great, God is good, let us thank him for our food, so, um, you know, we're not as fancy here at our house either, but I think it's fun to be reminded of old traditional things sometimes in a world that is awfully Contemporary, it's nice to remind it of um, that there are people who have gone before us and who have made it through, and we can do that too. So, anyways, thank y'all so much for watching. Thank you for being part of Passionate Penny Pincher. I am so thankful for you, and I cannot wait till Monday when we will be Crocktober. And so, get your crock pot ready, be ready, get your grocery list ready. Let me know. Oh, hit the share button if you didn't already to let someone win a ninja. And we will be doing some fun giveaways next week where maybe as we, I'll think of some giveaways. Maybe if you guys like post pictures of your recipes, we'll do something special. So definitely do that. Okay, y'all have the best day. Thanks so much for watching. I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.